hello everyone so today i am going to discuss some very usually occurring phenomenon which we do not pay attention to it so such uh, like uh, suppose uh, whenever we are taking off our winter wear or nylon wear that makes a crackling sound or the pe peculiar sound come across whenever the wearer uh, takes it out of its uh, of uh, his or her body so why have you ever thought of why such sound comes out of it similarly this is also a peculiar phenomenon whenever uh, there is a tv screen and we take our hand near to the tv screen the hairs on our hand gets attracted towards the tv screen so this is also a phenomenon that occurs in day to day life but we have never thought of what what is the mechanism behind it or why such such phenomenon occur so let's uh, see an video and uh, clarify that uh, what is the physics behind it so uh, i have taken here a comb and let us take a piece of cloth so what i am going to do i am just going to rub this comb with this piece of cloth and sew it to small pieces of papers so let me just take the small pieces of papers over here and i am just putting it the just on the surface of it as you can see this pieces of papers so as you can see here there are some small pieces of paper on the surface of it and i am just going to uh, going to rub this comb on this surface of this cloth and then i will sew it to this piece of paper i am just rubbing it you can see and i will sew it to piece of papers you can see what is happening let's try again i'm just rubbing it again and i'm sewing it to the piece of papers can you see what is happening the piece of papers are being attracted now you can see it's just sticked to the comb but for very few seconds you can see for very few seconds this sort of things are happening have you ever thought of why this is happening why there is attraction so let's uh, see an video just look at the trajectory of the stream of water and when the comb is just placed near it what is happening to the trajectory so as you have seen in the video that the stream of waters are also been attracted towards the rubbed comb so the question arises why such thing happens this phenomenon is nothing but called frictional electricity so this is frictional charging or 
charging by rubbing so what happens whenever a piece of cloth is rubbed with the comb the comb is charged the electrons are moving the electrons that are present on the comb and the silk cloth they move creating one of them as a positive charge and other one as the negative charge so whenever it is a charged object it's shown to the pieces of paper these pieces of papers then what happens the second phenomenon occur that is called method of charging by induction what happens what is induction induction is a phenomenon in which the when a charged object suppose this is a glass rod which is positively charged it's shown to a uncharged conductor this is a insulation insulating stand we are using so whenever the glass rod is shown to a uncharged conductor as we know that a conductor consists of free electrons so at the nearer end you will see here in the conductors the free electrons will be accumulated at the nearer end creating a electron deficit region in the farther end such that why this electrons free electrons are accumulated in the nearer end because of the attraction so this process is nothing but a temporary electrification this is not a permanent electrification this is a temporary electrification where the where the opposite charges appear at its closer end and the similar charges appear at its farther end so this is nothing but the process which is called electrostatic induction so what is happening with this small pieces of paper here now whenever a charged comb is shown to this small pieces of paper these papers though these are dielectrics these are not conducted but still this the nearer end of this piece of paper is having a unlike charges which is Ex, which is exerting a electric force on them and that's why the small pieces of papers are being attracted towards the comb the same thing is happening with the stream of water also whenever we have a stream of water and we are showing the charged comb to it so the the trajectory of that stream of water is being changed and it is been attracted towards the comb because of the induction because the closer end of the stream of water is acquiring the opposite charge and the farther end is a, is acquiring the like charges so this phenomenon is also occurring in uh, various cases like if you rub the balloon with the uh, with in the dry dry hair and it, you will show it to the cat's fur you will see that the force are being attracted towards the balloon the same phenomenon is also occurring um, in photocopiers that means the xerox machines how the xerox machine is printing exact copy of the original one that is also the mechanism that the mechanism that is behind it is nothing but the electrostatic induction and also the very the most uh, powerful form of static electricity or this is also known as static electricity is uh, that we are coming across in nature is the lightning so these are all a part of physics which is coming under frictional uh, electricity or static electricity and the electrostatic induction or method of charging by friction method of charging by electrostatic induction but there is a subtle difference between them whenever we are 
producing a charge by friction there is a direct contact between the two objects but whenever we are uh, doing it in uh, through the process of induction you can see there is no contact between them but still then the traject they exert a force on one another because of the unlike charges so thank you everyone i hope so this has enlightened you a little bit thank you so much